Dana White wanted Sean Strickland to lose. Dana White needed Sean Strickland to lose. Why? Because Dana White wants a homosexual champion. Dana White wants to turn the UFC into an ultra-woke organization. Now, Dana thought he had a homosexual champion in Israel Adesanya. He just assumed Izzy was a gay lord because of his love of anime. But it turns out, Izzy didn't love men. He loved dogs. So that didn't work out. Enter Drykus Duplessis. Let me tell you, when Drykus had sloppy mouth sex with his coach inside the octagon, well, Dana thought it was a gift from Satan himself. Finally, a gay man to be king of the ring. Now, I know this is all very hard to believe. Frankly, it took a long time for me to come around to this myself. Dana White had me convinced he was the ultimate patriot. He's done so many interviews where he just trashes woke ideology, like that recent one with Theo Vaughn. I'm going to show you a clip from that right now, so let me set it up. Theo Vaughn says that he recently had RFK Jr. on his podcast. Then he gets a call from his sponsor, Peloton, saying, take that episode down. This was Dana's reaction to hearing that. Oh, f you, Peloton. Yeah, I want to... Do we have Pelotons in the gym? Are those Peloton? We're getting rid of them. Yep. We're getting rid of the Pelotons. Yeah, and if they... And then he actually followed through with that. He posted a video where he got rid of them. I was so impressed with them. Now I realize it was all an act. I bet those Peloton bikes were getting old and needed to be replaced anyway. The seats were probably falling off them. And then you got the, the rusty seat post going right up the poop chute of the fighters, making them pregnant with a butt baby. And now you got the fighters out for nine months. And then they give birth to this half, half human, half stationary bike hybrid. We can't have that. So the Peloton bikes had to go. So you see, all of Dana's anti-woke antics are just a show. It turns out that Dana White is just controlled opposition. His whole anti-woke narrative was just pandering to us. So we don't expect anything while he puts his evil plans in place. And everything was going beautifully according to plan until the impossible happened. Outspoken, true patriot, Sean Strickland beats Israel Adesanya. Now, I actually predicted that Strickland would win that fight if you go back to one of my old videos. But that is not what most people thought. That is definitely not what the odd makers thought. And it sure as hell was not what Dana thought would happen. With Sean Strickland as champion, Dana White's sinister plans hit a major roadblock. His master plan to turn the UFC into a soy boy gay orgy was now in jeopardy. I mean, just listen to the stuff Sean Strickland was saying to the Canadian press before the fight. So let me ask you something. Are you, are you, are you gay? No, are you, are you, let me know, are you gay? Can I hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking, I'm, this is a part of the, are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. Hey, the Canadian press is paid off. They literally get paid by the government. That's part of what the taxes go to. So it's beautiful seeing Strickland just dismantle this passive aggressive fairy. But Dana White can't have this. He can't have Strickland bashing allies of the LGBTs. He can't have that for his goals of making UFC woke. Dana can't have a loose cannon being the mouthpiece of the UFC. He is the mouthpiece of the UFC right now. Nobody else talks as much as him. Nobody else is getting as much attention as him. <laughs> He's basically the face of the UFC. But anyways, maybe you're still thinking, come on, man. Dana doesn't want to make the UFC woke. Are you crazy? Let's look at the facts. Okay, let's just look at the facts of things that have happened recently. Prime. Logan Paul's Prime is the official drink of homosexuals around the world. And now it is the official sports drink of the UFC. Bud Light. The UFC signed a deal with Bud Light after the Dylan Mulvaney fiasco. And now watch this clip of Dana defending that move. Check this out. Why I'm with Bud Light. Um, you know, I was just, I've been talking. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see how nervous he is? He is choking on his own tongue. Listen to that again. Listen to that again. Zoom in on him. Pause right there. With Bud Light. Um, you know, I was just, I've been talking about. Uh, 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 you know, <laughs> Bud Light, uh, you know. <laughs> Come on, man. We don't even need to d listen to his reasoning. You just got to see him sweat. That tells you all you need to know. But if you do want to see his reasoning, he gets into it a little more 
with Theo Vaughn again. Bud Light is the right move for me. They're exactly who I want to be with right now. And uh, we are very aligned as far as core values go. You know, From the man himself, the UFC is aligned with the core values of Bud Light. And do you need a reminder about what Bud Light's core values are? Let me show you. This is Bud Light's core value right here. This is Bud Light's most recent spokesman. This is what Dana White is aligned with. This is Dana White's core values. And you're telling me he's not trying to make the UFC woke. Do you need more convincing? How about UFC gay pride merch? Did, did you know that was a thing? From their official Instagram account. Check this out. June 1st, 2022. We are all fighters in gay pride colors. 100% of the profits from the sale of the We Are All Fighters t-shirts will be donated to the LGBTQIA plus Center of Southern Nevada. And here's what they said. In celebration of Pride Month, UFC is proud to offer its LGBTQIA plus themed We Are All Fighters t-shirt with 100% of the profits of blah, blah, blah. Can you believe it? Did you know about this? I saw them advertise this shirt during a UFC broadcast. I thought I was watching an SNL skit or something. And then I remembered SNL's not that funny. And I saw no blowback from it at all. Nary a peep. But you think, okay, you know, maybe this is some crazy person in their marketing department as a one-time thing. Okay, let's look at their official UFC store. As of today, i.e. what I'm about to show you is currently available for you to purchase. UFC Pride headbands. Now, if after all of that damning evidence, you still don't believe that the UFC has been on a path to wokeness. Just watch an episode of UFC Embedded. Pick, pick any of them from the last few years, or just watch the Embedded series for this last main event of 294. There's more footage of some no-name Brazilian lesbian fighter and her wife than of Sean Strickland and Drykus Duplassis combined. And if you haven't noticed, it's been a few years of them doing this on Embedded, where they feature the private lives, the home lives of the lesbian fighters. And when you think about it, this is actually a very smart move on the UFC's part to start with the lesbian fighters. Why? Because even a red-blooded patriot can enjoy some good old-fashioned lesbo action. But just imagine if they featured a male gay fighter and his husband raising a kid like they do with Amanda Nunes. Oh my God, the blowback. The boycotts. So they start with lesbos. You see, us UFC fans are the frog in the pot of boiling water. We got in when it was cold. And then they start to turn up the heat with the lesbos. Next thing you know, we'll be in full boil and we won't even know it. Dana White's evil plan. So you don't start with the gay guys, right? You start with the gay girls. Normalize that. And then you have Drykus come out of the closet. So then you say, how do you know Drykus is gay? You mean aside from him French kissing his coach? And don't tell me, oh, that's their culture. You can't just accept everything because it's part of a culture. You know, in some cultures, it's customary for the young men to lose their virginity to a goat, like in Dagestan. Does that make it okay? Because it's part of their culture? Where do we draw the line? So don't give me that excuse. But even setting that aside, how about the fact that Drykus is so handsome and so well-dressed? Someone like that is almost guaranteed to be gay. Now, can you be ugly and be gay? Sure. I mean, look at all the Dagestani fighters. But I digress. Now, if you need even more proof that Drykus is gay, let's do a deep dive through every single episode of Embedded they put out for UFC 297. Put on your scuba gear. We're about to get wet. What? Quite a bit earlier. Because the time's early. Right there. Stop. Do you see what he's wearing? He's wearing yoga pants. Only chicks and gays wear yoga pants. How many dudes you see prancing around in Lululemons, huh? Furthermore, he's skipping like a schoolgirl. My God. What else do you need to see? Not proof enough? Let's keep going. 
I'm just getting started here, dudes. For example, let's listen to what the owner of this gym says about what goes down in its walls. Check this out. Been has been awesome, you know, having a, having an athlete of his caliber. It's 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 never uh, any less in incredible. Rubbing shoulders with some of the what? So after they work out and they're all sweaty, they they go and rub each other's shoulders. Did you hear that? Rubbing each other's shoulders. Disgusting. Degenerate homosexuality hidden behind the walls of an MMA gym. Unbelievable. But that that's not all that goes down here. Okay, check this out. Check out this other fighter. What is this? What is this pose? Now, mind you, I'm the first person to defend man spreading, okay? But this, this is spread eagle. You're sweaty, you're wearing tiny shorts. And if you think I'm just, I'm just overreacting, the very next shot is another fighter. Well, I won't give it away. Let's just, let's just jump to it. Watch this, the very next shot, look at this. This, this guy is looking at the guy who's spread eagle. Check this out. What? Did you catch that? Yikes, that is nasty. Look at this, licking his lips. Mmm, baby, spread those legs. Watch this, watch this. We're gonna go frame by frame. The tongue comes out. Nasty. Ugh. Disgusting, I never want to see that again. Let's watch it in real time. Ugh. And notice it says that this guy is Duplessis' teammate. They're just a bunch of gay lords. The whole lot of them. Now, I'm not done. I'm not done talking about his yoga pants, okay? Check this out. This is near the end of the episode. What is he wearing now, huh? Not only does he have his Lululemons on, but he's wearing socks on top of them. He's pulled them up on top of them. This is a look that chicks do, you know, in the winter time. They're wearing their yoga pants or their leggings and they pull their winter socks up. All right, this is in Toronto. It's very cold. That's a good look for a chick. Not for a dude. Not for a dude. All right. Unless you're gay. My God. But I, I'm, not, I'm not done with this outfit here, dudes. I'm not done with this outfit here. Check this out. What's, what's the upper body? What's the upper body? Let's get a close up on that. Look at this. Dream a goal. Look at this. Do you know what that is? Some of you guys might be too young to know what this is. This is a tube top. Now, that hasn't been popular in women's fashion since maybe the 90s, so let me pull up a pic for you. All right, this is a tube top. It just covers the milk duds, all right? But Drykus is such a gay extremist that he pulls it down below the nips. He's got to have his nips out, baby. He's got to let those puppies breathe. My gosh, this is just degeneracy. Disgusting degeneracy. And I won't stand for it. But look at this now. What's this over here? What is this? This is episode two of Embedded. What's the thumbnail? Let me show you. This is the thumbnail for Embedded episode number two. What do we got here? We got Drykus holding his pretend girlfriend. Why do I say she's pretend? Oh, I'm going to break that down. Just know that she is a paid actress. But my point is, when have you seen this on a thumbnail? When have you seen the fighter on the main card just holding his girlfriend for the thumbnail? Sure, they're, they're in the videos. You know, they have them walking around doing sightseeing with the fighter. As the thumbnail, oh, look how happy we are. Look how happy us, us heterosexuals are in our heterosexual relationship. Oh, oh, all the joys of being heterosexual. Don't fall for it. Don't you goddamn fall for it. Don't you fall for the lies. Disgusting what they're trying to do to us. Trying to trick us. Trying to suck us down into hell. All right, so let's watch this episode. Let's watch this episode. Let's go. Episode two. In South Africa, that's something you're never... All right, so Drake has come out to the beach in Toronto when it's like minus 20 to go for a swim in the ocean, okay? So let's see his swimwear. Why don't we start with that? <laughs> a Speedo? I can stop the video right here. You understand what I'm saying? If you wear a Speedo, you're gay. 
This is not the 80s where it was the only swimsuit you could get. This is 2024, dude. This is not the style, not here, not in South Africa. And notice the cameraman was given instructions by Dana White to show his firm, bulbous buttocks. Just zoom in on it, guy. Zoom in on it, cameraman. Watch this. Look at this. Why is the camera on his butt the entire time? We got a chick here. What, what, what's the audience of the UFC right now, currently? 99.7% males? Hey, maybe show the chick. No. Y'all getting some ass. Y'all getting some ass. Look at this. Look at that thing bouncing. All right, so now they jump into the ocean, okay? And it's freezing. And don't tell me, oh, this is the, the fashion in South Africa. How about a South African teammate here wearing full-on, full-length pants in there? All right? So don't give me that. Hell, even the girl is wearing full-on pants. But Drax is like, nah, I'm going to get as close to naked as possible. Because I'm gay. I will now, using the most advanced video technology available to mankind, prove to you that Duplessis is gay. Watch this. Pause. Right there. Zoom in on that. Okay. Now we will go frame by frame. And I will prove to you that he is gay. Look at this. Right here. Do you see this? He doesn't have a boner. He does not have a boner. What's the significance of that, you say? He was just in the water with someone they claim to be his girlfriend, who seems to be an attractive female. You're in the water with her? And you're not going to have a full-on bone cone? Now understand, the water is cold. There's going to be shrinkage. Okay? But I'm telling you right now, no matter what the temperature, no matter the season, no matter the barometric pressure, I'm going to rock an erection if there's a chick around. Okay? No amount of cold water is going to stop that. Now him just being human, sure, there'll be some shrinkage. But there's nothing going on here. He is fully flaccid. Check this out. The girl joins him. The girl joins him. Watch. Let's back this up. So she runs in to join him because that's what she's been paid to do, to really sell this, right? And ta-da! Drakus Duplessis' girlfriend. They're just really trying to shove that in our faces. Trying to get us to believe this lie. All right. So now he's with the girl. She's touching him. She's touching him. Why don't you have a boner now? Now look how awkward. Look how awkward he held her. Like he's never held a girl before in his life. Watch. Let's, let's back this up. Where are his hands? Where are his hands? Just under her armpit? Listen. The straight males watching right now will tell you. If you have an attractive girl jump on you like that, you're not putting your arm on her latissimus dorsi. You're grabbing one of those devil's dumplings. You understand what I'm saying? This is clearly how a gay man would hold a woman. But I want to back this up and show how phony this is. Because again, this guy's coming out of the water and she just jumps on him because they've been given instructions. Listen, we need a photo op for the thumbnail of Drykus not being gay, all right? Watch. She just dives in from nowhere. Photo op, photo op, photo op, photo op. Smile for the camera. Make sure you smile. You really sell that straight living. I ain't falling for it. Are you falling for it? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Don't be stupid. Anyways, at the, at the end of this embedded video, I got more proof. All right, watch this. I'm the first South African Look at this man. Look how well dressed he is. I honestly think he could be the best dressed UFC fighter of all time. Like I understand Connor had a cool look. He was very extravagant, but his suits and pants were always at least two sizes too small. This just looks like a well-dressed, stylish gentleman. So he's got to be gay. All right, let's get to embedded number three. All right, so this is the hotel lobby. Uh, Drykus comes in, says hi to Strickland. And Strickland says, oh, is this the missus? 
And then Duplessis remembers, oh, oh yeah, that's right, we, uh, that is my heterosexual partner, we have lots of sex, yes, watch this, listen. Good trip, Mrs. How are you? Sean. Yeah. Nice yeah. Good trip. So awkward, because Duplessis was just totally thrown off, oh crap, I forgot to keep, to keep up appearances. We're not falling for it at DDP. All right, now, more proof that she is just a paid actress. Again. Drakis Duplessis' girlfriend. Is that a camera in your hands? That's odd. Let's see where that goes. Yo, so I'm here because I'm his girlfriend, but also... I'm, I'm here because I'm, I'm, I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> I'm here because uh, I'm his girlfriend. I have watched so many episodes of Embedded. I've lost count, okay? Years and years worth. I have never heard one of the fighter's girlfriends announce themselves as a girlfriend. I've never heard them have the need to go, uh, I am his girlfriend. Who are you to say that I'm not? Hi, I, I'm the girlfriend. Haha, <laughs> me, girlfriend. Yeah, he not gay. Me, girlfriend. Unreal. We're not falling for it. Anyways, listen to that again. Yo, so I'm here because I'm his girlfriend, but also because I'm a photographer. So it's a two-in-one package. Oh, how convenient. She's also the photographer. Let me tell you how this went down. She's actually just a photographer. But then Dana called him and said, listen. You're coming off gay with all the fashion. You understand what I'm saying? We gotta make you look straight. Okay, you can come out of the closet later. Not right now, it's too soon. The frogs ain't ready for it. So we're gonna need someone to pretend that they're your girlfriend. And he's like, oh, I don't know any actresses. Wait, how about the camera girl? So they just paid her off and said, hey, listen, in between taking pictures, just, just, just pretend you're my girlfriend. That's all this is. She's the camera girl. Doing double duty. Don't fall for this crap, dudes. But if you are falling for it, here's some definitive proof. Check this out. Right here. Fur collar. Fur collar. Any man wearing a fur collar is definitely a homosexual. Unless it's cheetah print. In which case, you know you're dealing with an apex predator heterosexual. All right, now check this out. Final episode of Embedded. So to set this up, this is uh, Drykus's brother greeting him. Watch, this is his brother. I'm gonna pause right here. And then using the most advanced video technology available to mankind. I'll prove that he's gay. Watch. Let's frame by frame go in here. We're coming in for a hug, yeah? Bro hug, no problem. Literally bros. What happens here? Watch. What? Zoom in on the brother's mouth. Now pay attention to just how wide his mouth is open right now. Perfectly normal, right? Okay. Watch what happens as he gets closer to his brother's face. It opens up. Go back. Normal, gay. Normal, gay. Normal, pole smoker. Watch. Open mouthed kiss. <gasps> That's their culture? It's gay culture. I can say that safely now, knowing all my South African viewers have clicked off this video already. But hey, that's, that's the price of bringing the truth to the people, I guess. All right, now. Let's jump ahead to more damning evidence. You can see him relaxing. Look at this. Right there. First of all, doing yoga as a man proves you're a homo. But look at that flexibility in the lower back. Look at that flexibility. I've tried to stretch like this before because I spent so much time at the computer editing videos for you. I cannot get my back past completely straight. I can't do this arch. You can only develop this arch by taking it in the butt kiss for years, okay? That's the only way to develop that arch. If you still don't believe me, I guess you're retarded. Maybe you got some mongolation going on in your DNA, but I'm still gonna keep trying to prove it to you, to try to break into that skull of yours. Check this out. Even, even Strickland calls him out, listen, while he's wearing his tube top, check this out. Trying to go dick to dick. No one's gonna to want to watch his fight. See? So apparently all week Drykus has been hugging Strickland and going dick to dick with him. Strickland obviously has a broken gaydar. I'm telling you right now, if all week long some guy's hugging up on me and rubbing his cack on my cack, I'm gonna know he's gay. What what other proof do you need? Come on, you guys. But again, the UFC has to cover DDP's tracks right now because 
The UFC audience is not ready for all out male gayness. They're not, but they're okay with showing female gay action because that is the beginning of boiling the frog. Watch this. When I like um, think about it, you know. Okay, to set this up, uh, this is Raquel Pennington's wife. They brought a baby in here, okay? Showing the lesbian family on Embedded. And now, watch this. I get emotional because to be in her position and have the opportunity to fight for a world title second time, like, I truly believe her hand's gonna be raised. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So she's saying, I get, all, I get so emotional. Uh. Now imagine they did this with a gay male fighter family. Just, uh, just, just imagine that. I get so emotional when I think about Khabib fighting for the championship that my tiny Dagestani dick get uh, so hard. The boycotts that would ensue. This whole situation is insane, but it's not nearly as insane as Ian Gary's private life. In fact, he wrote a book about it and I read the first three chapters of it. Click on this video and listen to the madness. The book is called How to Be a Fan.